Welcome back to a beginner's guide to Farming Simulator 22. If you're brand new to the game, you might want to go back and watch the earlier episodes because today we're going to start going over the steps to advanced productions. Now, what do I mean by advanced productions? Advanced productions, in this sense, would be anything that you need multiple inputs for. Right now, we are making bread, but we're going to start making cake. Bread, all we need is flour. When we make our flour, all we need is a single grain. But cake, we need a whole lot of other things. So we need our flour. We need the eggs from our chickens, which I've already loaded into our bakery. A couple of uh, skids of eggs. We're going to need sugar, milk, butter, and strawberries. So we're going to start working towards getting those inputs. The flour actually right now is getting made in our flour mill and being distributed directly to the bakery so I don't have to worry about that we should have plenty yeah we have 33,000 liters in there so that should be plenty of flour for our cakes um, milk obviously is going to come from cows butter we're going to need to buy a dairy and use some of the milk from our cows and turn that into butter uh, I don't know if we do need any other any other inputs for the butter? We'll find out when we get to that step. Strawberries are going to be the easiest to get, and then sugar won't be too hard. So with strawberries being the easiest, let's go ahead and get that right now. So strawberries you can get, and I think we're going to turn this field into a production field. Strawberries you can get with under production greenhouses. You get a greenhouse, you can make lettuce, strawberries, or tomatoes. And that was just shift P to open directly into that menu. Or you can hit P to open into the sale menu. Come down, probably get there down here to the bottom. Go to construction, hit select. It'll bring you right back to the same thing. Let's go ahead and get a greenhouse. I think we can afford one. Yeah, I have 167,000 um, from doing the barley. I sold all the bread that we made. I think that's all I've sold is bread. Because the eggs I put into the bakery. But let's go ahead. We'll get the biggest one. So now we're going to have to get water to put in here. I'm going to hit C to square that up because I'm going to bring it right over here by our chickens. I don't want to go too close because I want to give myself room to get around the building. That's going to overlap, so we'll put it like right there. Nice. So we're going to need water to put in here, and then that will uh, make us things. And if we were spawning pallets out of this, they would spawn right here, but what we'll do is set this to distribute to our bakery as well, so then we don't have to worry about it. But to get water, I don't believe we have anything that will transport water at the moment. We do not. So, we'll have to, if we come into the store, come into tools, go down to animals. Under animals, we have some water trailers here. So the first three will do just water. And then these will do water, milk. Oh, what is that? Herbicide and liquid fertilizer? I believe. Uh, I think that's... I know that one's herbicide. I, I assume that one's liquid fertilizer. That's 25000 for that trailer. To get the larger trailer, we would need a truck. Uh a semi truck front a cab and we are going to need a trailer to move milk around because the milk we can't distribute directly from the cows to the dairy or to the bakery we have to move the milk ourselves like if we take all the milk to the dairy then from the dairy we could have it send the butter directly to the bakery but we're going to have to ferry around milk, and since we need to do that anyway, we'll go ahead and buy this one already. 
the color is fine. Yeah, or I'm not paying $4,000 to make it shiny chrome. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave that stainless. That works for me. $25,000 for that. So go ahead and buy that. That's going to be down at the shop. So where did I leave my tractor? Tractor, tractor. There it is over there. Let's just pop into it. Just hitting tab to cycle through my vehicles. We'll go ahead and go get that. Um, I'll just time lapse myself going to get that. And I'll see you when we're coming back. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, well, where are we going to get the water for this? There is a container on our farm. Here, let me look at you while I talk to you. There's a container on our farm that you can buy water from. Uh, it's fairly cheap, I believe. But we don't need to buy water because there's water right there. We can just get free water. So many of the lakes, rivers, and streams in game allow you to draw water from them. Now we just have to do a horrible job of backing this up. That's going the wrong way. Do not like these jointed trailers. I don't think I ever miss mods in this like I do when I'm trying to back up a trailer like this. Because I have a mod in my normal games where I can lock that front axle. And it makes it so much easier to back up. Okay. For me, anyway. Some people are good at this. It's not a skill that I have. I always end up steering the wrong direction. Okay. Now that we are backed in here a little bit, if we open up the help menu... You can see in the upper left there, the top one is R to refill trailer. And this doesn't cost us anything. Just a little aggravation of backing the trailer up. Down in the lower right hand corner, it shows how much we have. I believe it said it was 8,000 liters. Yes, it's an 8,000 liter tank. Um, I'm not sure how much we'll fit into our greenhouse. It doesn't say. We'll figure out after this first load if we're going to need more. Um, we get, did get the large greenhouse. I want to say the small greenhouse is like 5,000 liters. I'm not 100% on that though. But if you're happy to just drive into the water, you can get free water and it's so much easier than paying for water. Who wants to pay for water? Our farm is actually right around the corner here. The next thing we're going to have to do after we get the greenhouse set up is start preparing for cows. Because cows are going to be a big part of this. We need milk and butter. And to get the milk, we need cows and the have cows that are producing milk we're going to need to have silage hay and straw we need all three of those to make tmr um which is what the cows need to eat there we go we just got to get close to it which is what the cows need to eat to be at 100 percent productivity for making milk so hit i to overfill into this and we can actually watch it fill up in here that's 2000 i think we're going to need to make one more trip with this have this filled up but we can turn it on before we do that yeah one one more trip and that should be more water than it can take in a month so strawberries it'll do 1536 cycles of turning one water into two strawberries per month. Uh, 
so I guess that'll only take 1500 water a month. We could probably just leave it where it is right now. And it costs us $2 to run this for the month. So you can either go into the menu, hit escape, go into the menu, come down to your productions and find your whatever greenhouse you're looking at. Or if you're here and not parked in the way of the door, let's pull around the corner. There we go. If you're here and not parked in the way of the door, you can open up the door, come inside and you have the trigger where if you hit R at that trigger, it brings you back to that same page. So we're going to go to strawberries, activate them. And then I'm going to click down here on strawberries. You can see it's storing right now. We're going to change output mode, storing, selling, distributing. Now it's going to distribute it to any other productions that we have that will take strawberries. The only other thing we have is the bakery. And we will use those for our cake. So now this is running. It's going to do its thing. All we have to do from now on with our greenhouse is uh, keep it topped up with water. Really simple. Um, we could do any combination of strawberries, tomatoes, and or lettuce. You could have it storing lettuce, selling tomatoes, and distributing strawberries if you wanted. All in one greenhouse. I do believe that it only runs a certain... Boy, those chickens are loud. It only runs a certain number of production cycles per month. And it fits all three of your productions into that. So it'll make less strawberries, tomatoes, and lettuce together than it would any individual. Um, but the greenhouses are fairly cheap. It was 10 grand, I believe, for that one. Yeah, it's 10,000 for the large. You also have a medium and a small. Small is 3,000. The medium is 5,000. They all work the exact same. I just got the large because it's fairly cheap. We have the land to set it on and it'll make us more strawberries. I don't remember exactly how that scales, but it does scale. And I'm sure that information's out there if you're really interested in the numbers. Uh, next, yes, we have to prepare for cows, which we have $132,000. So I think the first thing we should do is buy the cow pen. We're going to get the cow pen now, just so we have it, because it's fairly expensive. And then um, start setting up for the silage and the hay. So the cheapest cow pen is $75,000. And I think we can put that over here nicely. Do, do, do. I want to snap it just so it's in line. Then I'm going to line it up. Pretty much, maybe just off of this driveway. Pretty much in line with that chicken fence back there. Boop. That'll work. I just want to do a little landscaping. See if we can't get that driveway looking like the driveway again. There we go. That'll work. And then we've got the bushes over there, so let's put some bushes. Which bushes are you? Is that these bushes? I assume that's the bush. Not that bush. Nope, I think it's going to be those. So we can run... Actually, ooh, these are fairly expensive. I didn't realize that last time we did it. That's all right. I still want to continue to look. There we go. That way it all kind of flows together, you know? Keep our, our farm looking cohesive. And then maybe we'll do something around here. I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of this. At some point, we'll get rid of the field bit. We're not going to use this as a field anymore. Uh, we may end up putting in at some point, there is, under silos, there is this uh, bale and pallet storage, which would fit in there nicely. 
Um, I'm not going to do it now because we don't really need it right now. We could also, if we decided we wanted to make silage in a silage pit, we could put a silage pit back here. They're fairly expensive comparatively. We have 57,000. I do want to, that was the wrong button. I want to buy an extra field, but we may have to do some stuff to do that. I want to buy this last field here, 47, just to kind of make this a block. And we need 65,000 because what the what my plan is is to use one of these fields for silage one for hay and grow wheat on one which will wheat or barley which will give us chicken food and straw because the straw will go into the tmr with everything else and then we will use probably both of these fields here to do the sugar but i don't know um what the yield's like because we're going to do sugar cane i've never actually done sugar cane before so it's going to be a learning experience for all of us but that'll be in a later episode today i'm going to start with these two fields we're going to get grass planted in the one field and get that growing um the one right here to the right Get grass planted and get it growing that way we can start making silage bales it may be another season or two before we can afford cows i do have a few straw bales that i saved from last harvest because i knew we were going to get cows at some point um but we're going to need to yes get a tether and a wind rower the tether will be needed for hay and the wind rower will be needed for both hay and silage and then we're going to need to get a mower too yeah we're going to need a decent bit of money because there's several things to get but for right now let me get this tilled up and planted um this is subsoiler that i have on me here this should take away any need for plowing. I actually haven't looked at the field and seen what it needs. It needs to be cultivated at some point. Okay, it's harvested is what it is. It does need lime. Actually, let me lime it first. Just because then it'll be... I'll be able to get rid of the lime look when I cultivate it. And it won't be just super white. Okay. I think we have lime in here. Or do we have fertilizer in here? I may have to go get some lime. We have fertilizer. So. Oh, I upgraded our trailer in the intervening months because it was on sale. And I also upgraded the uh header on our harvester because that was also on sale on the discount page oh there's some lime right here how much probably not nearly enough which actually i don't think i've checked the sale page today what do we got nothing that we necessarily need yeah that's not going to be enough lime so i'm going to run to the store get some lime come back lime cultivate and uh seed that field and then i will be back with you
So I went ahead and mulched before I cultivated just to try to get the yield as good as possible. Um, this is a manual shift and it was giving me a little trouble. Sometimes it'll do that where it doesn't want to pick quite the right gear. But I wanted to show you what I'm doing here. So what this is, these little arms, uh, if you hit Z, one will come down, the other co will come down, or they'll both go up. And these are ridge markers, and it says it over there in the upper right corner. It's a second from the bottom. And what the ridge marker does is when you're using a planter, and it's especially good planting on seed bed like this, because it, it's hard to tell one texture from the other. Hard to tell what's been planted and what hasn't. So what the ridge marker does is you put down the one that's on the side you haven't planted yet and it gives you a line to follow that's right in the center. So that's a nice center line. So then all you have to do, this is the way it works in real life too, then all you have to do is follow that line and you know that you're planting the whole thing. You're not missing anything. And that, it's as simple as that. That's really all this is. But I realized that I hadn't shown this before. And it might be a little confusing. Or you might see the ridge marker button or these. And all it does is it makes a little ridge. And we're going to plant over that. So it's fine that it is cutting into the ground like that. And if we go in here. I was having trouble, as you could see because it was not showing up and it was just because grass by default isn't selected and so now it looks like nothing's growing and I got confused until I got out until I got out and looked at it and the field info says that it's grass that's growing um, and then I remembered that this by default everything else is by default selected but grass isn't so you actually have to click on grass to get it to come up the green. And now you can see, okay, yes, it actually is planting. And we're not missing anything. We went down that line, didn't miss anything there. That's as zoomed in as I can get. Um, that is growing. And then we're going to need to roll. I limed it. We mulched it. We're going to need to roll and fertilize. Um... And we're going to end up needing to get a grass roller at some point. Because, I think I've explained this before, but when you're doing grass, you don't have to fertilize it every time. Uh, if you get a, a meadow roller or, or grass roller, which if you go under grassland care, this one will plant grass as well, but since we're going to be doing wheat and stuff, just kept our regular planter. But you have the metal roller, and then you have this big roller that's also a weeder, and that you also can configure to plant grass. Um, but we'll need one of those at some point. And we have a baler, we'll need a wrapper, we need a tatter, we need a wind rower, we need a mower. So I think we're going to need to do um, contracts. I don't know what we can take out for loans. I may take out a loan to do some of this. Um, and then contracts. Grind some contracts to make some money to get the rest of the equipment we need for this because we're also going to need everything for the sugar cane which we'll need a planter uh, which if we do 85,000 for the two row that's only two meters wide and then 45,000 for a one meter wide um, harvester but these can both hook to a regular tractor because the do, 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 where is it? Sugarcane harvester is $349,000. It's like if you're doing a sugarcane farm, you get that thing 
we're just growing a little bit. I might actually only do one of the two fields with sugar cane just because those implements are so small. And then, oh, I did get a, on sale, a sugar cane trailer. I got this cheap because it's got 25 hours on it and 26% damage. I think it was like 50 or 60% off. But we'll need that when we do do sugar cane. Anyway, I'll get back to this. And I, oh shoot, I didn't put down my ridge marker for this one. And hopefully I don't miss a spot. But I'll get back to this and I'll see you when we're done done. Okay, so that's the grass field I'll put in. Um, I'm gonna have to weed it and fertilize it again next month. It's mulched, so we should end up with maximum yield on that field. We're at plus 78% right now. We have another fertilizer application to do. And you know, we might not have to weed it because it's grass. I don't think grass needs weeding at all. 
um, before next episode, I'm going to go ahead and grind some contracts and buy that next field here. And I'm going to plant grass here as well. Also going to have to pick stones. And then plant grass here as well. Much the same as I did there. This won't be mulched because there's nothing to mulch. Um, so we'll probably make this hay. Make this silage in a few months. Do, 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 do. It's June and September. We'll plant wheat in this field. This is the smallest of the three, but that's fine because we'll use less straw. Um, the pen that we have, I don't think makes manure, so we don't need straw for that. We only need straw for making the TMR. And it doesn't take much. I think it takes half as much as it does hay and half as much. So it takes like equal parts silage and hay. And then half as much hay in straw. And then just a tiny bit of mineral feed to make, to make TMR. Which is what cows need. It's the TMR that cows crave. But that'll give the cows 100% productivity. Um, I'm not going to get any cows until we do our first harvest of hay and silage. And the silage actually turns into silage. And we get a mixer to be able to make TMR. That way we have food for them. Because until that point, there's no point in wasting money and time feeding and watering them until they are at a point where they can make um, milk for us. The chickens are doing just fine. We still have a decent amount of chicken feed. And then once we harvest that wheat field, we'll have even more chicken feed. So that'll be good. Our strawberries are coming in. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. A big old greenhouse full of strawberries. Very nice. We have 48 liters of strawberries right now. Almost 8,000 liters of water. Has it sent any over here? Yeah, 159 liters of strawberries have already been sent to our bakery. So that's good. So that's flour, eggs, strawberries. We're doing the grass fields and the wheat field so we can get cows to get the milk and butter. Um, let's go visit just to get an idea. We have a lot of stuff to buy yet because we've got to buy a mower, got to buy a windrower, got to buy a tatter. Um, we're going to need to buy a TMR mixer. And then, of course, the cows themselves. And I think that will be it for the cows. I think that's all we need for the cows. And then we're going to need to buy the sugar cane planter and harvester um, to do the sugar cane. That'll get us the sugar, I believe. You know, I might need to look that up. I'm not really sure how you turn sugarcane into sugar. May need to visit another production for that. But the dairy on this one is over here. There's the dairy. How much do you cost? It's probably expensive. It looks like an expensive building. How much do you cost? Oh, it's only 70000 so that's not that bad. That's not that bad. And then, let's see. Yeah, you can sell sugar cane, feed and grain, cold crust valley, and farmer's market. Where? How do we turn that into sugar? There's got to be a factory 
It's not going to be a biomass factory. What are you? You're feeding grain south, carpentry. That's gold cuts. So that's grape processing, debris crusher, oil mill. Not you, your cell point. Our, our mill won't do it because that's a grain mill. We may have to buy a production factories. Let's see what we got. Bakery, carpentry, dairy. Okay, yeah, see, I think we're going to have to put sugar. Oh, maybe we only have to put sugar with the milk to make chocolate. Maybe the milk itself will make butter. Grain mill, spinnery. Sure. Okay, so there is a sugar mill, but I don't think there's one on the map. So that'll take um, sugar beets, sugar cane, or beet cut, and turn it into sugar. So we're going to need to have land, which if we bloop back to the house real quick... Da, 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 da. Visit you. We might use some of this land up here. Because if we turn, you know, these fields into sugar cane fields, then we could potentially put that sugar mill, not you, you, down here. You know what I mean? Use some of this land for a sugar mill. Maybe even make it face the thing. Not that that'd be great. I don't really want a factory on our farm, but I don't think there's another one on the map. Oil mill, great, bakery, carpentry, dairy, spinnery. Yeah. Uh, I will double check, but I don't think. Yeah, that's our grain mill. That's the bowling alley. There's Johnson's. That's the lumber yard. That's the animal dealer. There's a spinnery, that's the grocery store. Gas station, fast food, bakery, the store, oil mill, debris crusher, grapes. Yeah, there is not a sugar mill. Grain West. That's the train, cereal, and dairy. Yeah, so we're going to have to build a sugar mill. But that's okay. That's okay, we can do that. It'd be nice if there was like a really small piece of land somewhere that we could buy. It's the smallest piece. Oh, that's pretty big. Do, 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 do. 146,000. Everything's so expensive. I just want like a little slice somewhere. Yeah, everything's going to be really expensive to try to buy. Ninety-one thousand. That's not horrible. Seventy-eight. Be nice if like we could put it <laughs> somewhere that's not on our land because it should be on the map. A resource that we need. I don't need it to be on our land. See, that's what mods are good for. Um, but we're doing this without mods, so we have to do it the vanilla way. Yeah, everything's going to be real expensive, so I'll probably just put it there in the corner. Even though I don't really want it on the farm, I'll probably put it on our land anyway. That way I'm not wasting more money, because it already costs, what, $80,000? Where were you? Which one was sugar? Cereal. There you go. Sugar mill. Yeah, 80,000. So we're going to have to spend 80,000 just to be able to process sugar to make our cake. These are going to be some expensive cakes. I tell you what. With all the land and the animals and everything. How much do they sell for? Cake sells for... Wow. Yeah. 
uh, the the bowling alley will buy them for nine thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars right now. Max is out at ten thousand six hundred and forty seven dollars in January. It must be somebody's birthday. Maybe they're all New Year's cakes. They say Happy New Year's on them. So they should be quite profitable. But I will probably see if I can make a list of everything that we needed to buy just to make cakes. And I think it's going to be in the over a quarter of a million dollars to get set up. It's going to be over a quarter million dollars for sure. I mean, we spent, what did we spend today? 75 plus, so it's 85,000 plus, how much did we spend on that? 85 110,000 Do we buy anything else today? Hundred and ten thousand plus whatever I spent on that, but that was on sale, so that was fairly cheap. Uh yeah, so we spent basically a hundred and ten thousand towards doing sugar just today. And we have a whole bunch of stuff left to buy. But that's okay. We will do it. We're going to grind our way through this. And we're going to make some cakes. I'm very excited. But that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll progress a little further. And we're going to get just a few more steps towards doing cake. If there's anything else you want me to explain about the process or what we're doing that I haven't already touched on in earlier videos, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know and I will be sure to try to answer that to the best of my ability. Um, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!